Hello everybody I wish you a warm welcome to Usitility. Today we are on the way to discover how to run Rope Hero Vice Town on your PC, as you can see you can watch it on screen. It takes almost no time to simply download and set up Rope Hero Vice Town so that we can enjoy the game on the Windows desktop or laptop using our keyboard, mouse and large monitor. Then it's time to have fun, let's get to it. First of all mates, the first thing to do is to launch our main internet browser. We selected the one we use by default. Let's go to the next URL I'm highlighting in green color. Now, you are able to discover on the screen of the PC. There is no need to type this URL, because I added a clickable link in the description of this video and as well in the first pinned comment. We landed here on our Usitility site, where we have an in-depth description on just how to download and install Rope Hero Vice Town on computer. We scroll down a bit as well as click the Download Game on PC button. Once we click on this link, we arrive here on the website of LD Player. No panic, it is only the Android emulator that we are going to run to enjoy the game Rope Hero Vice Town on the PC. As you can see here we access a number of pros of preferring using this emulator, custom controls, multiple instances, instance synchronization, macros, scripts, high FPS, etc. Now we are ready to start downloading the Rope Hero Vice Town by clicking on this button Download Rope Hero Vice Town on PC that I have marked in green color. We then click on the button. And the download action takes no time at all. Here it is, here is located the download. It is a file we have to execute. The following step is to run the installer, ok, then we click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to make modifications to the device. We answered yes. I minimize the internet browser to find the installer significantly better. The installer is very simple to use. It contains two choices, install, and setup path. I will show you what setup path truly does. We simply just click it. So we note that we end up with here the path where the emulator is going to be set up. If we prefer to vary this folder we have to click on the browse option, and we opt for another folder and set up the emulator wherever we want. To keep it simple, just set it where it is. Then, I click on back. So I simply click install. Right now, before beginning installing the emulator, it is also possible that it's going to suggest us more than one application software deals to set up on the PC. Since I do not want to have any of those software programs, I simply click each time on the reject option. Voila! The setup begins and it will carry on in the download of those MB that happens to be shown on that computer screen. Once you download it, it might possibly be more or less MB. The download speed may go at a higher speed or at a lower speed, subject to your internet and according to the data transfer rate of the emulator hosting servers. Now they are running very fast. The download is completed, and so right now it proceeds with the setup procedure. The setup is going to take a little bit more or less time according to the power of your hard drive. The more powerful it's actually, the faster the software installation time and or vice versa. If we combine the download and installation stage it might take a very long time, so be patient. It is now completely finished on my side. At this moment, the emulator happens to be started automatically. As you can observe, down here, there's a progress bar that will move forward to the right and once it attains the finish, the emulator is launched for the first time. The truth is the emulator was already started, here it is for the first time. Then LD Store is immediately started, which is a sort of Google Play. It isn't really the best technique to set up the game, and therefore I really don't recommend it, considering the fact that possibly the LD store sets up an obsolete version of the game. I'll demonstrate to you tips on how to set up the game by utilizing the Google Play I recommend you to do it this way. The first thing we have to accomplish is to go to the computer's desktop by pressing this software icon that I'm indicating in green. Before we carry on, as you can see now, it has made two software icons there on the computer desktop. The LD Player and LD Multiplayer. Note that the LD Player software icon will be one we are concerned about. Anytime we would like to start Rope Hero Vice Town on the desktop or laptop, we double click on that app icon and consequently launch the emulator. The LD Multiplayer icon is not related to multiplayer or even nearly anything like this. The reality is, it's an app icon that we may quite likely never utilize. Why don't we perform the following step, which is a requirement, and this is to log on to the Google Play Store. To do that we will browse there to, System Apps, we click. And we'll simply click on Play Store. As you can observe the Google Play is started. Right here we have to log on. At this point as soon as we're here, we have to execute this following step that is definitely compulsory. 
Therefore we mouse click on, sign in. At this moment it shows, checking info. It could sometimes get blocked in, checking info, that's why it isn't going to advance. If that's the case, you could attempt to log in and after a couple of hours it's going to quite likely be solved. At this moment we're going to insert our username and password. The email address ought to be a Gmail email address as well as its related password. For example you make use of the same email you're using at the moment in your own YouTube account. So I am going to type in my info and I'll come back after I have accomplished it. That's it, details typed in. Here is Google welcoming us and supplying us their twos. We should consent to all of them simply by clicking, I agree. Following, it make us possible to save to the Google Cloud. You can let it select it it's going to build a backup of the data on that device to Google Drive. I am not going to check it, you can utilize that option if you wish. We just click on accept. The Google Play is started as preferred choice and automatically. Whenever the Google Play is simply not started instantly and you have no clue how to run it by hand, I illustrate how to get it done. The crucial element is to proceed to the emulator desktop by clicking this app icon marked in green. At this point we head to the system apps folder and we click on the Play Store icon. All right, we are right here inside Google Play. What we are going to perform will be browse here to search for apps and games. And we're going to do a search for Rope Hero Vice Town. There we get it, we must go through the very first result. There we have got the game app. So let's simply click now on the install link that I am just presenting now in green. And this will commence the software installation. Now it would install the game app, it can take a little while or it could also be very fast. It again all is subject to on the connection to the internet. It has already ended setting up. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by pressing this particular button that I'm emphasizing in green, so that you can start Rope Hero Vice Town for the very first time. We're now on the emulator desktop, and we're preparing to just click that brand new Rope Hero Vice Town software icon which has been created. This video game is started for the first time. Now there we end up with it, I could press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should discuss the volume level of the emulator. It's right here. We have got the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume. This manner we are not going to rely on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the audio of your emulator. And to take pleasure in the experience to the maximum, we can switch on the large monitor, for which we have two choices. This is actually the first one, we click on this particular app icon which I am indeed showing in green. And the monitor is maximized, offering one border on top, one on the right side and the last one at the bottom. In the event that we would like to have fun with the game using all the screen, we hit this particular game icon. And we might at present be enjoying the game app in 100% screen setting. To quit the complete screen setting, push the F11 key. And we might now be in regular display screen setting. At present, I am choosing to demonstrate to you the keyboard mapping that is certainly quite enjoyable. That means we will certainly be ready to use the game application far more effortlessly. The very first thing is to click on this application icon. It's now time to get the necessary configuration settings. I'll go ahead and put the standard settings, however if you prefer to improve it, you may very well do this with no problem. I consider this occasion to say that sometimes, when commencing the game application a dark screen comes out, if it's so and you notice the black display and the emulator is unable to launch, I propose a potential solution. We would browse here, to the cogwheel. Within the emulator options, in the advanced choice we have a range of screen resolutions. That is the pixel quality we've at the moment chosen automatically and we must choose any of these additional graphic resolutions, for instance this one below. We choose it and next click save. It may tell us to reboot that emulator and soon after restarted, most likely the emulator will start up and the black display screen will go away completely. Clearly, the emulator is entirely in our own language. Sometimes it occurs that your emulator is started in the improper language, such as, in Chinese language. And then to place it in the proper language we browse here to the cogwheel. Then there inside of other options, we just click the, language, drop down. We can easily select the language we wish, Spanish, Chinese, and so forth. Once the language is determined, we are going to save, the emulator will reboot, and the game, next time we start it, will also be in the specified language. At this point, there's another information that we must take into consideration, and this is that we will get a message from Google Mail reporting that a brand new machine has been connected with our Google account. It will likely check with us if we're the people who have connected that device. 
That's right, we really should not get worried, because the emulator is acting as in Google Android tablet or smartphone. In order to find which smartphone or tablet is being emulated, we go right here, to the cogwheel and we click on it. Therefore we go here to the, model, choice. And here we determine that the emulator is simulating a Samsung cellular phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all folks, so much for that tutorial. I anticipate you appreciated it, specifically that everyone thought it was handy. If that's the case, bring it a good thumb up, subscribe to my channel, and if you have remarks, questions or suggestions, put them in the comment area down below. You can also leave comments on my Twitch channel, I actually do live streams ever so often, you get it down below in the video description and in the very first pinned comment. Simply click on any of these instructional videos that happens to be showing up on the listing of videos to watch and let's have fun again in the future video tutorials. Bye.